What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cigarettes and Coffee. Alright. Is that the show on the road? Eh, I don't give a fuck how he's going to frame. So, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you what this show's gonna be about, and I'll go on to the top of good day. So, Cigarettes and Coffee is probably gonna be a Maybe a daily show, I don't know yet. I'm just testing it out right now, but um It's gonna be about like if someone has in the skateboarding community we're gonna talk about it. So I'm gonna talk about today. It's been a few weeks since Dylan Reader passed, so let's talk about Dylan Reader and his impact on skateboarding. So Dylan Reader. I remember the first time I saw him was on um, the Minefield video, which was, an a which was an Alien Workshop video. I was down with Alien Workshop for the longest time. All my first skateboarders were on there. Fucking Rob Beardick in his prime, who's a fucking gnarly dude. Jason Dill, Dylan Reeder, Steve Bira, Mikey Taylor, and said That used to be a fucking solid team. But oh, back to Dylan. Um. He's just a gnarly skateboarder, like, if there's one person I could say had some fucking epic steez would be him. Then probably second would be Antoine Dixon has fucking gnarly steez. But Dylan Reader, um, passed away from leukemia, and, um, he's just a, from what I can see, well, just an all-around cool dude. Like if it was still on YouTube, I'd tell you to go watch his fucking Supreme Cherry part. That part is gnarly. His minefield part is not the best, but it's pretty gnarly still. Like, just go on YouTube and watch like interviews of him, him skateboarding and all that shit. He's a fucking gnarly, fucking nice dude. One video I do recommend watching. Like, he's top three. Like, Top five favorite skateboarders for me. It's probably number two on my list. But, um, fuck. Lost my train of thought. Um, fucking A. I can't think what I was gonna say. Yeah, just an all around gnarly dude. Nice looking, nice dude. Um, there's a nice looking dude, which I'm not gay, but he was a good looking dude. Um, oh yeah, one of the recent videos I watched was on the Skateboard Mag channel, was, um, behind the cover they did for him. The dude fucking talking, I forgot his name, but he's fucking known Dylan forever, and he just tells stories of how fucking cool he was, like, he was talking about how, like, he went to, he was in Vogue magazine, and they told him to jump, and he's like, Dylan's like, no, fuck that, I ain't gonna jump. I'm not your fucking puppet. Which that shows you he cared about his image, but, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm just saying it's a sad, sad, sad thing. He just a fucking gnarly ripper. Let's see, um, I do recommend go watching his parts. He's fucking rad. Um... Thank you for watching Cigarettes and Coffee, Volume 1. Peace.